Welcome into this edition of ACAP Today for the first half of August 2023. I'm Jason Parent with the Rooster County Action Program. On this week's edition of ACAP Today, we're going to pick up from where we left off on the last edition in a further conversation about the upcoming Back to School Bash. It's happening on August 9th, just outside of ACAP's Customer Service Center in Presque Isle near Walmart. And there's lots of activities planned. Last month, we sort of talked about the buildup and what folks could do in advance of the event. And today we're going to share with you all about what's going to be happening at the event, and we're going to do that in just a little bit. But first, before we do that, we're going to first get to the news and information that you can use, again, for this, the first half of August 2023. And we begin with this, just that, the Back to School Bash. Uh, and that is happening on Wednesday, August 9th. We're going to be talking a lot more about it, but I'll just let you know that it's happening between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. at our customer service center at 771 Main Street. There will be backpack distribution, giveaways, free clothing, informational booths, fun activities and games, and new this year, a job fair. We're going to talk about all that in just a bit. Um, but we will continue now sharing additional information, including the fact that our home buyer education classes have resumed. Uh, the next one is scheduled in this period for the 13th of August. Uh, that is a Saturday, and that activity will be happening for pretty much most of the day, and it happens all remotely. So we invite you to join from wherever you are in the convenience of your own home. Uh, participants will be eligible for up to $5,000 through the main housing advantage program that could be used toward closing costs. So it's very lucrative for folks to engage in. If you want more information, you can email us at homebuyer.edu at acap-me.org or call us at 764-3721 to learn more information and to register. ACAP WIC Farmers Days continue. We've had a couple of very successful ones in July. And this month, with the bounty of harvest coming in, they will be holding them on the 9th of August, the day of the Back to School Bash. We'll have our farmer's market on site that day, as well as the 16th and 24th of August. And then we'll round it out with the final one on the 7th of, of September. Those, again, are at our 771 Main Street Customer Service Center in Presque Isle. In addition to the farmer's market itself, there'll be some taste testing, some easy recipes that you can walk away with and some giveaways as well on each of those days, especially on August 9th, the day of the back to school bash. The weatherization team uh, and ACAP housing team are looking for houses and individuals who have homes that are in need of weatherization. You must be a Home Energy Assistance Program approved household, but please reach out by calling 764-3721 extension 184 or emailing us at info at acap me Dot org uh, for more information on how you can get on the list for weatherization services for your home. The Maine Homeowner Assistance Fund is specifically designated for folks who have fallen behind on their housing payments who are, or who are having difficulty as a result of COVID-19 to be able to pay things like property taxes and other expenses related directly to your property. Uh, if you earn less than 150% of the local area median income and have sustained financial hardship as a result of COVID-19 that occurred after January of 2020, you may be eligible. Uh, we encourage folks to go to either the website Maine Homeowner, homeowner help.org or to call us here at ACAP and ask for the Homeowner Assistance Fund Program. That is 207-764-3721. And we're also helping folks get connected with affordable connectivity through the Affordable Connectivity Plan from the Federal Communications Commission. Uh, that offers up to a $30 discount per month for eligible households, a $75 discount per month for qualify those qualifying on tribal lands, and up to a 100% uh, discount for a uh, qualifying device to get connected online. Uh, if you want more information, you can go to getinternet.gov or call us here at ACAP at 764-3721. We'll also have somebody at the Back to School Bash that can connect you with this benefit as well. Next, uh, the community cupboards that are located across Aroostook County and are supported by nonprofit organizations, individuals, and private organizations are available for folks who need assistance, who need immediate assistance with food security needs. We are also available to accept donations at, any, at most of the um, community cupboards across Aroostook County, especially those available 24 seven, such as the one outside of our customer service center in Presque Isle shown here in the picture. Uh, we encourage you to give what you can and certainly take what you need as folks. Uh, we don't want folks struggling with uh, hunger assistance. This is not meant to be a permanent uh, solution. It is meant uh, in the immediate need uh, when other access to resources are certainly not available, especially off hours. 
We also want to remind you that if you are in need of any assistance uh, and we didn't talk about it here, you can reach out. We have navigators here at ACAP who are available to assist and help connect you with the right programs and services, whether they're here at ACAP or outside of our organization. Again, the main number is 764-3721, where you can get connected with the navigator to find out what resources are available for folks out there. And that's this week's news and information you can use. I'm so pleased to welcome to the program now three individuals who are hard at work on the August 9th back to school bash coming right up. Sherry Locke, ACAP's uh, new uh, chief administrative officer. I'm going back to her old title in my mind, but chief administrative officer. Thank you, Sherry. Uh, Chastity Holland, who's a community educator on our prevention team, and Kathy Williams, who's a program coordinator overseeing, amongst other things, uh, workforce development and coaching here at the agency. Thank you all three for joining me. Thank you for having us. All right, Sherry, I'm going to let you kick it off because I know that your team, uh, your team is coordinating various activities for the Back to School Bash. So give us an overview of where things stand and some of the new information that's come in since we last chatted with you a couple of weeks ago. Absolutely. So I think it really is going to be our biggest and best back to school bash. Um, now that we are out of the pandemic and, you know, getting through the COVID, um, we're able to have more people, uh, including more of our staff, more of the community come to this event. Um, and the event has just continued to grow and grow. So really excited about this event. Um, we have recently closed the backpack sign up. Um, we very quickly reached our uh, 600 backpack. So we have closed down that portion, but we will have lots of giveaways and including school supplies, bomba socks, um, you know, lots of snacks and lots of activities, clothing. Um, that is one of the pieces that's been part of the back to school bash um, for, you know, for the last few years. And we um, have more clothing than we've ever had. So really encourage families, um, especially with growing kiddos to come uh, join that event, um, do some shopping, pick out some clothing for your kiddo for that back to school, but also to learn about the resources that are available here in Aroostook County not only resources at ACAP, but resources from uh, many of our community partners as we will have um, lots of friends and partnering agencies at the event. Um, you mentioned new to the event this year, and that is the, um, the, the career fair, the job fair that we're hosting this year. And Kathy can give all of those details, but it just seemed to be a natural addition to the event. Um, and it really has taken off. Kathy's done a great job growing that piece of this event. Now, Kathy, why don't we just transition to you at that point, because ACAP has provided workforce development services for decades now, um, and this really is an opportunity to bring uh, folks together. Folks are coming already to this event at a time of year, quite frankly, where many parents are thinking, what comes next for me, especially if they have children starting school for the first time. So talk about the connection and uh, what you're looking forward to in terms of hosting employers and, and that connection of the event. So sure, Jason. So currently right now we have seven employers who have um, have responded to our invite, um, said that they'll be they'll be coming. Um, so and they're employers who are hiring, currently hiring and have open positions. So I think it's a great opportunity for those parents that are here with their kids that are looking to go back to, to go back to work or to get into the workforce to actually talk to the people who, the, the, who that have jobs. So that's really exciting. It's our first time doing it. So um, I'm really excited and to, you know, to see how that turns out. The other thing along with employment is our coaches will be available to talk to. So if they need help with their resumes or help filling out job applications, um, they're certainly here to be able to do that with them. Talk about going back to school. Maybe they need some education to get the jobs they want. Um, so it's a prime opportunity for them to actually speak with them, find out, you know, what are the eligibility, what's the eligibility criteria? How do I fit into these programs? And, and you know, just doing a one-on-one -on -one with a coach to see what's my best, what's my best route? Is, is it education or is it, um, do I need to, to actually, am I, do I have the skills to get a job today? So um, just having those coaches there to, to work one-on-one -on -one with anybody um, that stops by that day. And the timing oh, really early August is, is, is ideal because all of those opportunities are open to so many. I mean, there may be parents who's, who, are, who, are, who are challenged with uh, childcare during the day uh, that, that sort of goes away when the school year starts, if you will, because the students are back on a regular schedule. And then also it's in advance, a few weeks in advance of higher education or adult ed sort of getting back into the, the opportunity to apply for, to be part of a high set or high school equivalency diploma. So it's really an ideal time to connect with those services. It is the best time. And, and you know, if 
you know, they might think, well, it's too late to go to school. It's not too late. You know, we have, we have a lot of opportunities. We have a lot of folks that we know that can help them, you know, with their college applications that's free. Um, MEOC, um, they will help them do their federal financial aid, um, apply to NMCC, UMPI, anywhere they want to go and, and waive those job, those, those application fees for them. And again, yeah, the kids are going back to school. So what better time? If, if it's in your plan to go to school, what better time than to do it now? When the kids are back in school, you can be in school um, at the same time. You don't have that child care issues. But again, you know, with our programs, we have so many support services that can help them, right, with going to school, but also with employment. So, I mean, if they're stopping by and, they're, you know, they're applying for jobs and thinking they're going to get those jobs, but I don't know how I'm going to get there because I can't afford to travel for the first few weeks or I don't have the clothes that it takes to get in to get, you know, to get a job those are some supports that we can help them with. Um, and yeah, it's just, there's so much that we can do for them. And I think people don't know all of those things. So it's a great opportunity again, to just meet with our coaches and have a, a five minute conversation. And that's both in terms of supports that they might need to go directly into employment or to go into higher education, for example. So if they're needing help with transportation to get to and from the community college or the university yeah. or with uniforms or tools that they might need if they're participating in a trade program. Exactly. We're here to help them with whatever those needs are, whatever's stopping them from meeting their goals. We're here to help. Great. Well, another uh, sort of exciting component of this year's Back to School Bash, uh, Chast Holland, is um, the uh, the, what the prevention team is going to be doing um, at that activity to both educate and, in, and, and for the community to enjoy. So talk about some of those activities that you and your teammates uh, will, be, uh, will be doing at the event. Yeah, absolutely. We just met um, a couple of days ago, actually. And we decided that the best way to bring something fun and still educational to the students was to do these quick little minute to win it games. Um, minute to win it's really fun. It's really competitive. It's really um, most people want to try it. Uh, it. I don't know. It's just really great. So um, some of the activities that we have, um, we have two specific activities and then we'll have a couple on the back burner just in case we need a couple more. But um, one of them, students will, or students, anyone who wants to participate will have to blow up a balloon inside of a cup uh, and stack the cups. And the first one to stack their cups will win. And it can be difficult. I tried it. We we tested here in the office. We had to, we didn't have any fun with it at all. Don't worry. Um, but uh, it can be difficult because sometimes the cups fall over. You're not supposed to use your hands. You're supposed to just use your breath um, to fill up those balloons, get the cups moved from one location into another location and all stacked nice. And then another um, activity that we have is we have these normal straws and we have these coffee stirrers. Um, and the students, or the, I say the students because we work with students a lot, but uh, participants are supposed to pick up a marshmallow by inhaling with, through the straw um, and move that marshmallow from one spot to the other. And then the same with the, um, the little coffee stir. Um, so all kinds of little fun, quick activities that, um, that participants can do. And then we have some resources as well. Um, I can speak to the tobacco prevention stuff mostly. We have uh, kits that we've put together, especially for uh, like high school, middle, middle and high school age people. Um, and then also their parents, if their parents are interested. Um, it's what um, we've decided to call a pause kit. So the pause kit is in a a kind of see-through envelope like this one. And then inside there's all kinds of little, there's different tactile things. So different textures, different um, uh, different things pe people can do with their hands to get their mind off of a craving in that moment. So um, it's not, it smells wonderful in here. It's lavender scented Play-Doh and all kinds of stuff like that. So the goal is to kind of get students started with um, you know, in the forward direction. 
right now that really does those those activities do have a connect to purpose with the work that you and your prevention team do talk about uh how that how that all happens because i know you're out there oftentimes in schools and doing things like this with uh, program participants in schools about how does this all bring the message back about some of the prevention work that you and your team are tasked with doing uh, yes absolutely so um a lot of what we do so one of the, the more basic components is that students are having to compete with each other and learn how to either win or lose in a, an appropriate manner, um, which I know sounds really silly, but that's a lot of uh, social emotional stuff that kind of went away during COVID. You know, like you weren't having your friends over to play board games or anything like that. You were, you know, playing video games instead. And it's very easy to yell at someone through a headset rather than you know, if you're playing side by side. So giving these opportunities where, where participants have to go against each other and learn how to win or lose successfully without, you know, having that power struggle. And then also with the balloon and with the straws, um, it's a representation of, you know, the larger straw would be a healthy or a healthy airways. Uh, and then the smaller straw would be uh, airways that have been affected by nicotine and tobacco. So showing students um, not having healthy airways makes it easier for you to do uh, daily activities, although we're not necessarily, you know, transporting marshmallows through a straw on a daily basis. We're just, you know, kind of trying to show the, show it in a fun way. But we have all kinds of little activities like that that we like to implement and uh, find different ways to show kids that your lungs are very important. That's great. Um, Kathy would always tell you that I, I can certainly exude a lot of hot air. I wonder how I do it, getting that marshmallow to hold there, Kathy. I don't know. I'm used to output. I want to. I want to see that, Jason. I know. You and I maybe should challenge each other. I was just going to say I'm going to challenge yeah. you. We're going to do that and see who can do that the the best and yeah. maybe hold it the longest, right? So that's going to show your capacity in your lungs. There we'll we get go. you to try it and maybe we can get someone to air it on Facebook Live or something. There we go. <laughs> yes, because that because that's that Sherry loves that as soon as that I want to do a Facebook Live thing at every event. So you're hitting all of our, our key topics. And Sherry, Kathy, and I also don't like like to lose either. So that's we could we could learn many lessons from that activity. We could. You're you're challenged. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, wonderful things that are happening at this event, Sherry, we've just tip, hit the tip of the iceberg with the career fair and the prevention activities. Lots of other things happening and really every ACAP program under the sun can, can be connected with at this event and I beyond. Think, absolutely, Jason. I think that's important. We're, we're marketing this towards families and kiddos as they're going back to school, but we would really invite the entire community, anyone who's available that day. Again, it's going to be on August 9th. Um, from 10 to 3 with a rain date of August 10th. And we will certainly place that information on our Facebook page if we decide we need to postpone. We're hoping that doesn't need to happen. But there's so much information available, not only from ACAP programs and services, but we have so many community partners coming that day as well to connect with families and individuals. Um, so really want to invite folks to come in. The clothing giveaway, I cannot stress enough how much this piece of the event has grown over the years. Just today, we've had close to 100 bags of clothing donated um, and it's really the generosity of, of friends and neighbors sharing what their children or what you know their young adults have outgrown and willing to share with other other people the clothing is gently used but in great condition and again can help folks who are going into the workforce can help with students going back to school or just folks who are looking to change up their style a little bit and the best part of this event is every piece of it is absolutely free for families so every, you can enjoy it all, you know, every aspect of this um, back to school bash at, at no cost and really help yourself and your family um, with that back to school time of year. So we're really looking forward to it and appreciate the partners that are coming in to help support this event. Um, you know, we have a large team, but it's always great to be sharing resources from community partners and for us to get to spend some time with them at events like these. Yeah, one thing that if you are attending that may cost money if you're not enrolled with the WIC program is the farmer's market. We will have a farmer on site with some healthy, fresh produce um, at that time, but certainly an opportunity um, to learn about the WIC program. And if you're eligible for the WIC program about how you can get vouchers uh, to uh, purchase fresh fruits and vegetables uh, in the summertime through the farmer's market. So lots of great opportunities. What um, are we missing uh, that what we want to make sure folks know before we 
uh, leave today. Kathy Williams, let me begin with you. Anything extra on the job fair? Any uh, coaching? I just want to. I just want to make sure that everybody that the whole, that the community knows that it's, this is not just for ACAP participants, right? So our the job fair is for anybody that's looking for work. They don't have to be involved with us and working with us. It's for anybody that wants to um, come in and see who's who's here, who's hiring, um, and fill out job applications with them. So. Yeah. And if there are employers listening now that are not signed up, there's still the opportunity to do that, correct? Certainly. Great. So they should reach out directly to Kathy um, if they are interested, and we will get you uh, included. Uh, we do have what, Sherry, uh, what foot traffic at this kind of event is what, relatively speaking? So we're expecting um, about a thousand participants. That's what we had last year. Um, again, very weather dependent. If it's good weather, I'm expecting it to be busy right from the moment we open. Um, so parking is key. We do we do have lots of little kiddos running around. So we just ask folks to enter carefully. Um, we will be utilizing, Walmart has very generously allowed us to use their lower parking lot. So we're asking folks to not enter into the ACAP parking lot, again, for safety reasons. Um, but there will be lots of folks there. So if you are an employer looking for employees, um, we would invite you to come and it, we promise it'll be a good, good use of your time because there'll be lots of folks to connect with. Great. Before I come back to you for your last thoughts, Chas Hall, and your last thoughts on, on the upcoming back to school bash and your engagement. Oh, we're just really excited to get out in the community and I love doing these events because there's so many people that attend and so many different ways to connect with everyone and uh, I know not just myself but also my counterparts with the um, like the new series and with uh, the substance use prevention series so we just have so much information that we want to get out there and this is one of the you know the key times that we can do that so we're excited. Eight exciting days ahead. Okay, Sherry Locke, last word on the back to school bash is yours. Absolutely. So just want to welcome the entire community to join us. Just like Kathy said, you know, it is for everyone. You don't have to be an existing ACAP customer. Um, and as Chas mentioned, it's really an exciting time. Just one point of clarity, the, the backpacks, again, you had to sign up and be income eligible to receive those. Um, so we will have those available for those families that day, but other school supplies available for other families. And if you did sign up for a backpack and asked to pick it up at a different location, we will be emailing you shortly with those instructions. Again, those options did include our Caribou Center, our Fort Kent Center, and our Holton Center, because again, we wanna make sure, and Madawaska office as well, wanna make sure that we're removing that transportation barrier as this project um, in partnership with United Way of Aroostook is available countywide. Indeed, and we don't want to make transportation a barrier for folks, but we'd love to see folks from uh, St. John Valley, Southern Aroostook, who uh, will be in, in the area, join us for the back to school bash. Again, on the 9th, if uh, weather is not good, we will postpone till the 10th. And as Sherry indicated, we'll let folks know through social media and other avenues uh, if that happens. All right. Well, thank you very much, ladies. Before we leave you and, and everyone watching, let's uh, take you to our photo of the week, which appropriately enough uh, takes you to the location of the Back to School Bash. This is our 771 Main Street Customer Service Center near Walmart in Presque Isle on a July day when there was a rain shower coming through and the sun was out, uh, causing a beautiful rainbow to come. And actually the rainbow appears to be landing where one would assume the pot of gold is, is right about where the activities will be held uh, during the back to school bash. And certainly for families who attend the event, there will be a wealth of things uh, to take part in from the job fair to the prevention team activities to the um, to the farmer's market, to the clothing giveaway, and for those who have registered the backpack giveaway for others, certainly school supplies available. It's really a great day, and we hope that you join us again on the 9th of August, 10th, if the rain is out that day. So uh, with that, um, it's uh, that's this week's edition or the early August edition of ACAP Today. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back in late August, the second half of August, with a brand new edition. We'll see you then. Have a great two weeks, everyone.